Welcome to Triple Bottom Line, bringing you the latest news on the people, enterprises, and innovations that are driving the movement towards a more just and sustainable economy. On this episode, we paid a visit to the annual Social Venture Network Members Gathering. Founded in 1987, SVN is a member-driven nonprofit that provides the connections, resources, and exchange of ideas to fuel social entrepreneurs and organizations that hope to transform the way the world does business. Many consider SVN to be one of the fundamental driving forces in the rise of triple bottom line companies. With over 500 members, including socially responsible investors, nonprofits, and C-level executives, SVN is fertile ground for the innovators of a new kind of capitalism. One of these leading innovators is Jay Cohen Gilbert, SVN board member and founder of B Lab. B Lab certifies and supports B corporations, which are a new kind of company that uses the power of business to solve social and environmental problems. In a little less than two years, there are now about 200 uh, certified B corporations from over 30 different industries that represent over a, a billion dollars in collective revenues and six billion dollars in assets under management from large national brands like Method, 7th uh, Generation, uh, from technology companies to consumer products companies, uh, it runs the gamut. There's something special about a community of like-minded people uh, that are combining both you know, the strong heads of business people uh, but the open hearts of people that are trying to make a difference. They've challenged my assumptions about what it means to be a, uh, a socially responsible business um, and, and my understanding of all the different things that are needed both within my own company um, and within the, the movement as a whole uh, to sort of create the change that we seek uh, to transform the way the world does business. To learn more about B-Lab and its process of certifying for benefit corporations, we visited their headquarters just outside of Philadelphia. Uh oh, you've played before my friend. Right now it's almost impossible to tell the difference between a good company and good marketing. That the more we use the words green and responsible and sustainable, uh, the less they mean. And that there are no standards out there. And what we provide is a set of standards that allows a consumer, an investor, a supplier, an employee to tell the difference between what is truly a good company, somebody who's really walking that walk, and those that are pretending. We're trying to create for all of those entrepreneurs out there who are trying to do more with their business, a framework that fits their business to a greater degree. A legal framework, a set of standards that allows them to differentiate themselves with consumers, to attract employees who are mission aligned, to find mission aligned capital, uh, to find a B2B community. All of that hopefully will be facilitated through B corporations. To see what B Lab certification process entailed, I took the survey myself. There are a lot of questions in here which you'll either say no or zero to. Got it. And that doesn't mean that, you, that you're a bad company, that, sure. you know, that, that you're required to uh, you know, check that yes. Um, all it means is that you're creating benefit in a different way. When you're actually audited uh, mm -hmm. on some of these questions, you'll actually be asked to prove mm. uh, you know, each of these statements. Cool. So uh, as, if we err on the side of safe, uh, that, you know, that's a good choice. So what we're witnessing now uh, is the birth of a new sector of the economy. Mm -hmm. And that is marrying the power of the private sector with the purpose of the nonprofit sector. Our corporate culture has been so dominated by a, by a me first culture. It's amazing to be able to serve a group of leaders who are saying it's about we first mm -hmm. and creating a, a, that much more of an inclusive economy. And they're the ones who are doing it. And we're just sort of there putting a, hopefully putting a megaphone uh, to their lips. What I think is most powerful about the community of B corporations is they are providing the boots on the ground, real live, concrete, market-based examples of companies that are creating both social and shareholder value, mm -hmm. that are competitive and profitable, but they're also taking care of their employees. Mm -hmm. They're being great stewards of the environment. They're building healthy communities both here and abroad. Mm -hmm. And what people are most hungry for right now is a positive alternative mm -hmm. marketplace. Mm -hmm. To witness B Corps at work firsthand, we visited Indigenous Designs, a 15-year-old fair trade fashion company based in Santa Rosa, California.
can we get this in the muted color? What's the story here? 20 kilos, by the way. Okay. In black. Right. In black. That. Okay. And the price was relatively the same as merino wool and organic cotton. And as well as the Dan. So I want to make sure that if elevation does fall through, we have another location that is going to work with you and with um, Kristen. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> A few things that are, are, are up for me right now is uh, we're meeting with, this week, Matt and I are meeting with TBL, and they're helping us with our Series B valuation and, and in and around kind of talking about brand strategies. This is an opportunity for people to, to really purchase something that's mindful. That's often what we say about, about the indigenous brand is you're having an opportunity to purchase something that's affecting someone down the line in a really positive way. When somebody purchases indigenous, they're supporting the farmer, they're supporting these amazing certifications for the types of dyes. Every touch point, it's a mindful purchase. And of course, they're also supporting the artisan, the community, the person who's actually making the goods. And uh, that's what we're really proud of. If we as a brand can stand as a beacon of someone in a larger company saying, hey, this, this smaller company's doing this, then we've succeeded. And indigenous Designs in 2009 was a profitable business, which uh, says a lot during uh, this, this economic recession. And we're actually looking for a trajectory within the next three to four years to be a $20 million brand. This company will succeed as a worldwide fair trade fashion brand. Next, we went to the nation's capital to meet with Andy Shalal, a longtime social activist and founder of Eatonville Restaurant and the Busboys and Poets restaurant chain. I don't know if I was striving to become a B Corp or B Corp just fit our mission. I think there's a sense of if you're going to be a community space, you have to, uh, to serve the community that you're in and serve it in many different ways, not just uh, uh, economically, but also be a good steward of the environment around you, be, be good to the people that you employ, and so on. The most important benefit for me being part of B Corp is that it creates a community for me, a community that I can turn to that I can have uh, some expertise uh, to help me answer some of the questions, to help me improve the way I do business. I don't want to have to be the Lone Ranger out there uh, inventing things uh, and, and discovering things when someone else has done the work for me and be able to say, this works better this way, try it this way, and so on. For better or for worse, we live in capitalism and we need to make it work to, to allow those who want to do the right thing uh, to have at least an advantage just makes sense. Last, we ventured to the Chicago Green Festival to meet with Shannon Downey, founder of Pivotal Production, a green event planning company. You know, I've been in the industry for uh, a few years prior to starting Pivotal and worked on some really huge events and they were fantastic but incredibly wasteful and being a part of that was it was difficult to watch. It was difficult to be a part of something where you build the million dollar set and the next day everything just goes into the trash. We do everything from event planning to design to production. We are a certified B Corporation, which uh, is something that we are very proud of. And I wanted to have a credibility established because I know that we're doing everything that we say that we're doing, but I want to make sure that the world knows that. Everybody needs to be doing whatever they can in any industry um, to to make the change, to make it greener, to make it more responsible. Thanks for joining us on Triple Bottom Line. We'll see you next time.